welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel and happen to stumble by, I'm your girl Bella and I would totally love if you hit that subscribe button and join me on my YouTube adventures. And do not forget this little bell. You see that little bell? Isn't that adorable? Click on the little bell so you'll be notified for all my new videos. Hi guys, happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday. Hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. I had a great weekend. I got to rest and relax and rejuvenate and I went out with my girlfriend. That was lots of fun. Okay, um, before we start on this DIY that I think is so cute, so cute, so cute, so cute. Um, I want to thank all my amazing, amazing, amazing subbies. Look, I even wore a heart shirt for you guys today. Um, I want to thank you all for the love and support on Thursday's video and Friday's video. You guys are the absolute best. You, I want you to know that you are the type of people and this channel is the channel that restores all faith in humanity. Yes. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I know I have not replied to all the comments. I am doing my very, very best. But between uh, my, my regular job, the business, and YouTube, and mom life, and trying to have some balance. As I was saying, I'm very sorry that I cannot reply to all the comments. I am doing the very best I can. So I hope you know that when I put a heart that means I love it, I read it, and I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Okay, let's get started on the DIY. So, um, I pre-filmed yesterday uh, me doing some of the DIY, and um, now we're going to do the, the last part of the DIY today together. Um, so, I'm going to run the clips and show you. What you're going to need is a rolling pin. And then once you see that and you come back and then we'll, we'll finish this off. Okay guys, I just want to show you what I'm going to do here. I'm just, uh, I put some music on this. Hopefully it'll, I'll edit this properly. I just took a plain rolling pin, put two coats a, of uh, the white chalk paint. I use the Rust-Oleum one. It's really easy to work with and it dries super, super fast. Um, that I put on the body and then on the handles I put some Dollar Tree black paint and it's really really simple not nothing to it I just put the black and then I mix the black and the white chalk paint and I made stripes going down because I'm making buffalo blood that's what I'm making so you'll see me making it here and it's pretty simple I mean I just follow along the lines that I measured out and as you saw earlier, I measured them out with my fingers to kind of make them even. Oh my God, see that little thing I have my coffee on? That we're gonna talk about later in the video. Okay, and then I did the stripes going the other way. And again, I used my finger just to measure. Uh, not very precise, but as precise as you can get because again, I wanted this to look kind of old and chippy. And that was kind of the look I was going for, but you'll see, I keep doing it. And then you're gonna see in a little bit that I'm actually gonna make black squares where the each line uh, meets up. And I had a little bit of hard time. I used one, the paintbrush I was using and I dipped it in the black and then I dipped it again, but then I decided, no, that kind of looked really messy. So you'll see in a minute, I get, um, a really small uh, paintbrush and make it actually a lot prettier and a lot tidier. So you'll see that in a minute. And this is what I was talking about. So when I tried it with the big paintbrush, it wasn't making the squares as nice as I wanted it. So I went back to my craft room and you'll see right now I get the small paint brushes and this worked so much better. Um, it helped me line out the squares and make them really nice and precise. And I like that much, much better. Okay. 
Okay, cute, right? Ta-da! So I did fill in all the squares, you saw that. But it's got this kind of like, you know, rustic-y looking, um, you know, here like the paint's kind of looks a little chippy. That's what I want. So now I have some um, sandpaper. It's like a little piece that I brought home from the shop. So I'm gonna rough this up just a smidge, just a smidge. I'm just gonna rough it up so it um, it makes it more, I don't know, when I was doing it, I thought, you know, it needs to be, I want it to look like that. See, it's more of a watercolor effect and to make it look old. So. I'm gonna sand this really, really quick. Right there, now it's got little bits sanded off. It makes it look a little more rustic-y. And this is what I wanted to achieve. Okay, I'm gonna tilt the camera down and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna put this together. But this is what you need. I got these two little picks from Michaels and I just thought these were so cute. I really wanted to do something with them. So you need two picks, your choice or small amounts of greenery. I'm also gonna use this uh, black and white gingham ribbon. And I'm pretty sure I got this at Michael's also, but I think you can find the small gingham ribbon anywhere. And this one is not wired, okay? Um, a glue gun with some glue sticks and um, some wire snips. And that's it. So let's put this together. Okay. So we have our um, rolling pin. Try and find a spot that doesn't look the best because you're gonna cover it with um, your florals. So I'm just trying to find a spot that is not the best. So I think I'm gonna do it here where the, um, the two lines are really, really close together. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so basically I'm gonna have this go one side like this and the other one the other side like that and i kind of want it to overlap a little bit i mean you don't have to cut these if you don't want but i'm i'm gonna cut them because i don't want them so long and uh, then when we're done i will show you where i'm gonna put this because i have the cutest idea for this and uh, just cut this away. Oh, oh my God, it's so hard to cut. <laughs> uh, real life, guys, real life. <laughs> there we go. And I want the other one cut exactly the same. So I'm just measuring it like that. And in the meantime, while you're doing this, Make sure you put your glue gun on to warm up. Oh my, there we go. Okay, I'll put this aside. So now I'm gonna try and find a position for this that's really good. I think that looks good there. Hope you can see that. And don't worry, we're gonna fluff these out after once we, we attach it. Actually, I could have fluffed them out now. So, there we go. Oh, these are so cute. Isn't these the cutest little picks? I just think these are adorable. Adorable. And if you can't find these at Michael, I'm sure you can find them um, other places because they're just adorable. Adorable. Okay, I think that looks good. I'm trying to find the center. Yep, I think that's center enough. Okay, now I'm going to glue them. So glue one on one side, just hold it down for a little bit because um, the picks are a little bit heavy. That's good. Okay. And then we're gonna glue the other side. And I hope this video isn't gonna be too long because I don't want it to be excessively long, but I want you to see exactly what I'm doing because I just think this is one of the cutest DIYs I've ever come up with. Okay, just hold it down for a few seconds. Let me bring it in closer so you can see what I'm talking about. So I did that. Now I'm gonna make my little bow and I'm gonna make a four loop bow 
And this is, I, I have so many tutorials on my channel already, how I make my bows. They're so, so simple, but, um, and actually to tell you the truth, this would have been even better if the ribbon was uh, wired. It would have been much better. Uh, I think now looking at it, I do think it would have been a better idea for it to be wired, but that's okay. I'm just going to use what I have on hand and you can always switch out the bow. Actually, I'm changing my mind. So I'm going to make a six loop bow. So you see there, all I do is just take the ribbon, loop it, and that's it. And now I'm at the point where I'm just going to leave tails like that and you have all your loops and don't worry, we're gonna fluff this up. Okay, let me cut this and be right back. Okay, ignore the barking dog in the background. Oh, he had to let Mia out because uh, the Canada geese have returned, by the way, which I think I'm taking that as a sign that spring is coming early. So um, as you can see here, I'm just putting a little bit of hot glue and I am gluing my bow directly in the middle. Now I'm going to fluff this up and you know what I'm thinking? You can snip one of these little flowers, which I think I'm going to, one of these little lemon blossom flowers and um, glue it directly in the middle of the bow. I think that would look really cute. You know, decorating as we go or DIYing as we go, I guess. Actually, yeah, I think it'd be cute. Hold on, cut that but it is going to be off center. Now I'm thinking, no, um, no, I'm going to cut some greenery. I have like a little bit of greenery. I think this would look better. I just want to hide the middle of my bow a little bit. Hold on. Let me see what I can do with this. Yeah. Just a smidge like that. I hope you guys can see that. Can you see that there? Okay. Oh my, Mia and her barking. Um, we have uh, coyotes in our neighborhood and um, a ton of dogs. And it seems that when one dog barks, then all the other dogs follow suit. Okay, I think our DIY is done. Now, let me take you over. Isn't that cute? How cute is this? I'm just gonna dovetail the ends of these. And then I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna put this. Okay, so if you've been following along with me, then you know that my kitchen has become completely lemon-fied and I just love it. I'm loving it. So here's the DIY finished. Look, you could see it in the back. So cute, right? So cute. I mean, if you have a stove like this, you could easily place it just on your stove like that and it would stay. But I'm thinking of just raising it a tiny bit to be right under here. So I'm just gonna put some nails in and hang it. And then I'll show you it. And I'll take you off the tripod and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, like here it is all done and hung up. I think it looks so cute. It is adorable and it totally fits in to the theme of the kitchen. I think it it's really cute. And I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, guys, that is the end of the video. I think this DIY turned out so cute. And, you know, you could do this with any kind of decor. Just take an old rolling pin or buy one from the Dollar Tree or your dollar store. And sky's the limit. I mean, you come up with your own version of what you like. This fits into my kitchen perfectly right now. Um, because I love waking up to all this lemon stuff and the yellow makes me so happy. Okay, I want to mention something before um, we close off the video. I got an Amazon store. Yeah, that's right. I got an Amazon store and I know that a lot of you saw this um, little contraption. You're probably thinking, what, what in God's green earth is? I had my coffee on this. This is the best thing I have ever found. And if you're like me, make a coffee and then, you know, you kind of forget it and the coffee gets cold. You put it on this and it keeps your coffee 
perfectly warm. It's amazing. I got a bunch of them. I got one for the house. I got one for the shop. Yeah, I love this. I love, love, love this. So go check out my Amazon store. I left it linked down below. I added a bunch of stuff that, uh, you know, I love. So you can go check it out and see if you guys like any of that stuff. And every time you buy something, doesn't cost you any more money, um, I get paid a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. So I would love if you check it out and see what I like. And uh, this I'm gonna leave under my favorites. Okay, so if you're interested, I'm girl, girls, I'm telling you, girls and guys, yes, sorry. Uh, I'm telling you, this thing is a godsend. You're gonna love this thing. Okay, that is it for my video. Go check out my Amazon store. I would love to see what you guys think. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Mwah. See you Wednesday.